Hi, in the last episode, we learned about how to create a sloping roof using roof by footprint approach. Today, we are going to explore roof by extrusion method. Let's get started. I'm going to use this model, but I already have created a few walls, columns, some doors, windows, and floor. On the topmost level, which is the roof level, I would like to create a roof. So I'm going into my roof level floor plan. In the roof by footprint approach, in the last episode, we learned that we can create this in a plan view. Today, we are going to explore roof by extrusion approach, which is typically created in elevation view. But to create anything in an elevation view, we must set our drawing plane to the elevation. If I would like to draw something in elevation view, it means whether it would draw here, 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 or here. Revit would not know where you would like to create your drawing. So for that, we will have to specify a work plane. Let's create a reference plane, maybe at a one meter away from this grid line number C. This is the XY plane that I would like to draw my profile of my roof. So when I go into roof by extrusion, it is going to ask you, where is your work plane which you would like to draw? Let's pick this plane and go into the south elevation to view it. Now I'm able to draw my profile on that particular plane. Let's use some curved lines to draw our profile. Maybe something like this. So if you see here, the drawing of the sketch that we did is on the plane that we had selected here. I'm going to choose co concrete roof of 150 millimeter roof type. In most other pink line sketching modes that we see everywhere in other tools, we always create a closed loop. In roof by extrusion approach, we will create an open loop because the thickness of the roof is going to come from the type of the roof that we have selected. So I've created an open continuous loop, which is going to have a thickness of 150 millimeter and material concrete. I'm going to finish this so that you can see that. Let's go into 3D view to check. Now I have a beautiful curvature roof on my project. Let's go back to the roof level. So when I select my roof, the extrusion start is zero from the work plane. and extrusion end is at 15 meters from the work plane. You can adjust these values by dragging them or be more accurate by using the properties palette. I can always come back to my roof, edit the profile, and make changes if I need to. Let's go to the 3D view. Now in roof by footprint approach, we created a closed loop inside a closed loop to create a void. Now we do not really have a closed loop in the roof by extrusion approach. Now how do we create a void in our extruded roof? Let's go back to the roof level. Go to architecture tab and use shaft opening. Let's say I would like to cut open this part of the roof and I'm going to finish this. Now you can see that we have created a hole in our roof. This is a shaft opening which you can also select and adjust its limits if necessary. Let's go and attach our walls to our roof. So I'm going to select all the walls on the first floor. I'm going to attach their top to this roof. Now you can see that wall has taken the profile of the roof. We can also do the same to our columns. So I can select everything here, filter only the structural columns that I want, and attach their top with maximum intersection to my roof. Try a hands-on exercise of creating roof by extrusion. Use my website, learningrevitonline.com. All the tutorials on the website are completely free and easy to follow. I'll give you the link in the description box. All the tutorial files needed to complete this roof tutorial is available for download here. The step-by-step -step procedures is going to help you to create a roof by extrusion method and also show you how to attach a wall to the roof. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through contact us page. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, press the like button. In the next episode, we are going to talk about how to create stairs in our project. So please subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next.